you're fooling yourself if you thought the smartphone megapixel wars were over. Sure, the big boys like Apple, Samsung, and Google have all figured out that more isn't always better, but Samsung is more than happy to profit off the ongoing conflict by providing technology to other manufacturers. The company has collaborated with Xiaomi to build the Isocell Bright HMX, a 108 megapixel sensor that will probably find a home in Xiaomi's Redmi phone. Now, if you know anything about cameras though, you probably know that megapixel count alone doesn't mean much. Sensor size is just as, if not more important when it comes to getting quality shots, and this thing doesn't disappoint. It's roughly twice the size of the sensor found in the Pixel 3 XL, and three quarters of the size of the one inch sensor inside Sony's RX107, which is a $1,300 high-end point and shoot. Though, because of the weird and archaic way in which the camera industry measures sizes, it wouldn't be 100% accurate to say that the sensor is three quarters of an inch, which would be so much easier. But even at that size, a 108 megapixel sensor will still have ridiculously small pixels, which would make for some pretty dark and grainy images in low light. So by default, Samsung's Tetracell tech will gather the light from four pixels, effectively transforming it into a 27 megapixel sensor. Obviously, you'll still be able to snap 108 megapixel photos if you want, but that will require a lot of light. Perhaps most impressive though, the sensor is capable of shooting 6K video. That's 6,016 by 3,384 pixels at 30 frames per second. Samsung sensors have been criticized by some for failing to match the low light performance of Sony sensors found in phones like the Huawei P30 Pro, but by building what is one of the largest smartphone camera sensors ever, it may have just brute forced its way through that problem. And if you want to brute force your way through the daily deluge of tech news, make sure to subscribe to Engadget.